Buenas tardes. Uh, my name is Carlos Menchaca, City Council member and chair of the New York City's Committee on Immigration. Oh. Buenas tardes. My name is Carlos Benchaca. I'm the council member, but also chair of the New York City's Council, New York City Council's Committee on Immigration. The committee will hear proposed resolution number 1484A, a resolution calling upon the state and federal government to extend protections for undocumented youth by passing the New York State Dream Act of 2017 at the state level, as well as the Federal DREAM Act of 2017 at the federal level. As you know, this is a topic that is very near and dear to my heart. I have been a champion for undocumented youth and young adults. This committee has stood strong, and the individual council members that represent immigrant districts have stood up. Dreamers deserve the right to attain the American dream, and it is our job to ensure that these hardworking youth and young adults are supported every step of the way. Before going any further, I want to recognize the following council members who are joining us today. Uh, from Queens, council member Danny Drum, and from Brooklyn, council member Rafael Espinal and Matthew Eugene. Before going any further, though, I want to give you some background. The term dreamer is used to describe young, undocumented immigrants who are brought to the U.S. as children and know this country to be their home. Dreamers assimilate into American schools and internalize American beliefs. Often they do not know that they are undocumented until they get a driver's license or cannot get a summer job because they lack a social security number. In the, in the U.S., every child is entitled to a free K-12 public education regardless of race, nationality, native language, gender, or immigration status and is free to enjoy an education without fear un of unlawful discrimination. Unfortunately, federal laws require that the applicants for financial aid be legal residents so undocumented students, including DACA grantees, are not eligible. As a result, roughly 65,000 undocumented youth graduate from U.S. high schools with little hope of attending college simply because they cannot afford it and are ineligible to receive assistance with their financing. More than 4,500 undocumented students graduate from New York State High School each year, yet only 5 to 10 pursue, 5 to 10 percent pursue a college degree due to tremendous financial obstacles that they face. Without access to federal tuition assistance, scholarships, grants, or loans, these bright students are left in limbo and with few opportunities for advancement. As new jobs increasingly demand advanced skills, it has never been more critical to ensure that all students have opportunities to continue their education and gain practical experience. At the state level, uh, the Assembly introduced the New York State DREAM Act in January of this year. It is the fifth year this legislation has been introduced, and now more than ever, it's time to make this law. We stood out front in the, set in the steps of the City Hall where council members, state elected officials, borough presidents, um, and even the controller uh, representative stood up and said yes to not only the State DREAM Act but federal. Additionally, it would create a fund that would praise that would raise private dollars for scholarships to college-bound children of an immigrant parent. This work is important. Without a path to legal immigration status or a meaningful opportunity to continue their education and professional development, dreamers are forced to remain living in the shadows. The passage of the DREAM Act in New York would allow students who are New York residents, regardless of their status, to have equal access to various forms of financial aid so that they can continue in their higher education. The Federal DREAM Act would provide a pathway to citizenship. If enacted, the benefits of these pieces of legislation would greatly improve the quality of life for our youth and young adults residing in New York State. It is clear that an investment in New York's dreamers is an investment in New York's future, and it is time to end the state and federal government's inaction. 
before they go to holiday season, we are saying as a New York City, and tomorrow we'll vote on the, on the floor of the city council, that they, go, that they go back to session and make sure that we pass a Clean Dream Act. And in, um, and in solidarity, uh, Buenas tardes, uh, yo, me, yo, me, yo me llamo Carlos Benchaca, el concejal uh, y presidente del Comité de Inmigración. El comité también escuchará la resolución número 1484, una resolución que pide el gobierno estatal y federal que extienda las protecciones a los jóvenes indocumentados por medio de la aprobación del DREAM Act del Estado y también el gobierno federal. Thank you, uh, and I will now call on uh, the votes of, for the committee, and we've also been joined by our uh, a good friend from Queens, Peter Koo. Good afternoon. This is the Committee on Immigration, December 12th, 18, uh, excuse me, December 18th, 2017, vote on Resolution 1484, beginning with Chairman Menchaca. I probably vote aye. And Council Members Eugene. May I explain my vote? I just want to uh, commend uh, uh, Chair Manchaka and also the Speaker for this very, very important legislation. This is a very, very important legislation because I think this is not only the right thing to do, but this is a smart thing to do, not only for the children, for the dreamers, but also for the city of New York, for the United States of America. We are talking about children, young people, who are dedicated, who have the courage, the, the ambition to go to school, to become somebody, to be part of the fabric of this country, to contribute to the fabric of this country. They want to be doctors, nurses, elected officials. So we have to give them the opportunity. We said all the time, the young people, they're the future of the society, they're the future of the nation. This is the opportunity for us to give them the opportunity they need to become the future of this city, the future of this nation. In addition to that, we are talking about human beings, children, who don't have any recollection of where they were born. They don't even know. Some of them, they didn't even know, you know, they were not uh, American or they have, they, 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 they exist a distinction between them and the other young people. I think this is the right thing to do. We got to do, this is a win-win situation. And they are intelligent, they are brilliant. If we don't do that, we are going to do a disservice to this uh, nation. And I commend all of those uh, you know, uh, uh, advocates, those people who have been there fighting, advocating for the dreamers. And I hope the, the, the state and the federal government, you know, our colleagues and the state and the federal government will do the right thing. With that, I vote yes. Council Member Drum. Um, I'd uh, like to um, say that I'm voting yes on this piece of legislation and thank uh, Council Member Ch uh, Menchaca and the Speaker for introducing it. It is a very important piece of legislation. And I'd also like to thank uh, Chair Menchaca for his dynamic leadership of this committee over the last four years. Um, he's done an outstanding job and has many accomplishments under his belt. Thank you. Council Member Ku. <coughs> Uh, I will I, and I also want to thank uh, Chairman Menchaca for his leadership and his dedication on the, this committee. I also want to thank the speaker uh, because uh, they both worked together, passed many important bills for the immigrants. Thank you very much, Chairman Jacker. Council Member Espinal. Um, I would just like to say I don't think that Matt Eugene could have said it any better, so I stand behind his words 100%, and I want to congratulate uh, Carlos Menchaca on, on getting his resolution passed and let all the advocates know that uh, New York City stands behind you and New York City stands behind the Dreamers. Let's keep the Dream alive. And I vote aye. Thank you. By a vote of five in the affirmative, zero negative, and zero abstentions, Resolution 1484 passes. I want to thank all the members of the committee for their incredible work. Uh, this will be the last time that we meet as a committee uh, until we come back in the next session. So it's a really proud moment for us all uh, on the committee that we've done some good work. Um, we're standing up strong, and we hope to come back to the city council in the next session uh, 
in the new uh, in the new year uh, with renewed commitment not only to our dreamers but all immigrant families. So I want to thank uh, our staff, uh, my chief of staff, uh, Veronica Piedra Leon, uh, and our council committee, uh, 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 Indiana Porta, and everyone who's done so much work uh, from the speaker staff uh, to to central staff. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the new year. Thank you. <laughs>